Okay, I'm going to take a few minutes here just to show you my favourite PVA bag mix. It can be used in a solid bag or in a, in a PVA stick or however you like to use your PVA. First thing we're going to put in the mix, you can see in the, in the crusher here, I've crushed up some mixed pellets, there's some T1 pellets and some Halo pellets, all in different sizes, uh, crushed down to different sizes to enable them to break down at various rates in the water. So we'll start off by popping them in there. Okay, next up, is some T1 boilies, again in the crusher. Uh, I've ground these right down just to dust. They're nice and bright and gonna add lots of attraction to the mix. So in they go as well. Next up, just to help bind it all together a little bit, we're gonna put some of our highly attractive stick mix in. So I'm just gonna grab a small handful of that and pop that in. And then from there, just using the plunger from the PVA stick kit, just going to mix it all up, the pellets in with the boilies, with the stick mix, so it's starting to take shape a little bit now, it's nice and simple this. I'm just going to add a tiny bit now of the T1 cow cola, and as with all our dips, they're all 100% PVA friendly. You can put as much of these in your PVA bags as you want and it won't melt or split any of your PVA products, whether it be solid bags or sticks or mesh, whatever you like to use. It's going to give this a real good mix now, get it all nice and even. And there's our finished mix. Then from there, I like to use the 25mm boily PVA mesh. It's going to take a small handful just gently filter it into the tube. Like so. And then using the compressor, the way to get your, the PVA sticks nice and tight when you do this is to just pull the mesh up nice and tight at the end of the tube, put the palm of your hand over it, and then from there, just push down until it's nice and compressed. You can see there, the cow cola is coming through, but it's not melting the mesh. So I'll just push that all the way through. Take the compressor out. And then making sure the bag stays nice and tight. Just a couple of turns to hold it in position. Peel off a nice long length of PVA. And just a single overhand knot, keeping it nice and tight. Another single overhand knot, as close to the previous one as you can, so you don't waste any PVA. Nice and tight again. And then just with some scissors, snip off, snip off in between the two loops. And then just to finish it off, I've got a long stick needle here. I'm gonna put the stick needle diagonally through the stick. And then from there, I've got my favourite balance bottom bait rig here, you can see, with a T1 wafter. Just going to pull that braided hook link through. And very important when you do this, make sure you don't get the hook point clogged up at the end of the stick. So just leave the hook point nice and clear. You can see there. And there you've got a really, really oily, attractive, nutritious PVA bag mix, which not only is gonna add a great deal of attraction to your hook bait and your baited area, but it's gonna virtually eliminate the chance of your rig getting tangled on the cast. That's how I like to fish mine. Give it a go.